Calista Redmond from uh, Risk Five, and I'm here talking with Florian from Andes, and would love to hear more about what Andes is doing in Risk Five and where you see things going. Hi, Calista. Great you're being here on the Embedded World. Andes is very focused on Risk Five, and we are seeing more and more focused industries like storage is a huge improvement for Risk Five, but we also see, especially in the AI and the machine learning, so there are so much you know potential for Risk Five. It's really disrupting because people can use the course and do something new, something great, add their instructions. So your question is, you know complicated to answer. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, it sounds great. You've got some great forays into storage and machine learning and AI. Those are the new frontiers. Those are the areas where we don't have legacy architectures already deeply invested by many companies. So do you see some predictions on where Andes is taking things next? Do you see kind of the road ahead? Well, you called it, there is no legacy. First, you're absolutely right. AI, machine learning, there is no legacy. There is a huge new market, a potential. And this is definitely on the forefront of this. We have customers deploying RISC-V in data centers, like thousands of core in a very advanced knot, TSMC 7 nanometer. But talking about legacy, we also see a huge improvement in legacy applications coming back to memory. And this has many customers in memory switching from legacy to risk five because ah. there is more there is more you can do. For example, risk five DSA domain specific acceleration. Now you can bring your own instructions inside, doing the same amount of work with less power. That let your notebook run much longer on the same battery. So I not only see new disrupting applications, I also see legacy who is switching now to risk five with our Andes course, but also others. So the whole industry is in a kind of disruption from Andes point of view. Very happy about that. So risk five is important to our industry, not just for customization, but to lower the power consumption overhead, to really kind of innovate, even in existing areas, to achieve new results, whether it's you know a exactly. performance dimension or energy consumption or what have you. Exactly. So what are you seeing, what are you doing here at Embedded World today? Well, Andes is already a 15-year-old manufacturer of CPU IP, and before Risk v we had our own risk architecture. So we have been watching closely, and when you guys started the Risk v Foundation, we had a look on the specs and we decided that's just very similar to ours. We want to join. So when we joined, we also donated some of our industry proof my P, like the DSP, it's now the P extension. We donated this to Risk V because we think Risk V is a great instruction set, but there have been some things which are lacking, so we donate this. And now we are seeing we are here in an embedded world because we see more and more customers asking for it and we want to address this broader audience and also bring Risk Five together, of course, with our solutions and our add-ons to the market. Right. And that is, at its, at its core, the goal of open source. Let's have shared building blocks, whether it's contributed from great members, platinum member like Andy's, or if it's cultivated within the community, those base building blocks enable all of our members to commercialize success on top of and around it. Exactly, but that's, that's the great thing with Risk V, like you said, open source. Imagine before you have a company like Risk V, we are selling our IP, we need to get money, and then you have open source who give it away for free. How can it work together? With Risk V, now it comes together. Yes. We focus on our IP. We co-work with universities to improve the Risk V instruction set, and we still have a space to offer our commercial industry proven code to the broader audience. So it's just a win-win situation. We are very amazing about so this. We've, we've disrupted your business model, but you've adapted. We've, you've come to, ah, here's the open part, here's the commercial part. It's a little bit tricky, you know. In Andes, we always said, we disrupted the industry with our risk core, and then risk five come around and it's like, oh, this guy's doing almost the same. Let's join risk five. Yeah. So, it's a disruption for the market, definitely. And we are in Andes very happy to be served from the beginning. And tell you the truth, there will be a huge potential in the future. 
We are very happy to start from the beginning and I'm sure in a few years we will see RISC-V everywhere, from the edge to the cloud and the data centers. Thank you. Thank you, Florian. Thank you for your time, Kalista, and go with RISC-V.